is what you wanted. You wanted to go offshore, buddy. <laughs> oh, it's, it's pulling out, huh? Well, welcome to Mental Health Day, and it just so happens to be my 40th birthday. So today, we're still down in Alamorada, but we took the hound dog, Captain Scott, offshore. Right now, we're catching bait. We got the chum log hanging off the back, we're throwing chum off the back, and they're throwing the cast net at him. Right now we're catching Ballyhoo Blue Runners and Cigar Minutes for bait. Put them in the bucket. We'll be going off to the, uh, the drop off in a little bit. Hopefully catching into something big. Ready? Really big. Let's go fish. Getting close. Get him, buddy. Still pretty far out. Yeah, he's out there. I don't know if this is recording or not. Here, see if this is recording, Kurt. Is this recording? Get him, boys. Get him. Nice one, Chris. Get him in the boat. Woo! <laughs> yeah, that's a nice one, buddy. There you go. Slide over this way a little bit, Chris. Oh, he's slipping. <laughs> Boy, <it's all> wild. <laughs> Hold him out, Chris. Let me get him. All right, whatever. Yeah, that's kind of flat. Good enough. <laughs> I was going to say, I want to get a video of him doing that while you're holding it. That's Look at his cool. shirt. Sushi, baby. I don't know what I'm having for lunch. Where the knife at? Keep him tight. I gotta get ready. It's gonna be my turn here in a second.
close. If you're gonna get it, get it. Little guy. Ah, uh, same size. Yep. Is that a high stick it? A high stick it. That's what you need to do. How do you really swing the boat? Yeah, buddy. All right, that's hard. Pay attention. Back. Here's a picture over here. Do you want to? Should we move this rod? Yeah, it's, uh, over, it's, it's over top. It's over just, top. just wind it. Just go go underneath. Just, just wind for now. Just keep yeah. pressure. Keep pressure. When you get it up close, I'm gonna grab your line and pull it in. When he gets up close, just swing it over here. You can see your leader. Your leader's up here. There you go. Good yeah. Job. That's see, that's why you gotta do it quick. It's beautiful. Beautiful little fishy. Oh! oh. Knocked him out. Every time. Yeah, you gotta hold on. Watch your feet. I'm left in the bucket. At this point in the day, we were very happy to have some meat in the box. We have never caught blackfin tuna before, so we were excited to eat them. But we wanted to catch some bigger fish. So the captain set off to find some amberjack. Now these amberjack get really big, so we are excited to try to catch one. The first mate hooked up a blue runner with a 20 ounce sinker and dropped it down to the bottom. Out a blue runner. Fast, fast, fast. Yeah, wind, wind unless he's pulling. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's pulling out, huh? Oh, you got sharked. Very possible. That's not good. Is it heavier now? It's not, it's not stopping. Damn. Like I said, sometimes they just take off and it's hard to see. 
Well, it's easy to get worn out. Like I was yeah. fresh coming in there, so I got I gained a lot of line. I think it was a shark. I mean, it wasn't initially, but the shark got him. Man, you really gotta whip, pull them up quick, don't you? Yeah, but there's nothing you can do. You can't yeah. pull them up quick. Well, that was exciting. But a shark just got him. We gained, we gained some line on it, but what are you gonna do? Oh, he's, he's running right now. Okay. Uh, like running. Yeah, you can't do anything if you're running. But now, right now, if you want to stop, get a couple things. Got it real fast when you drop it. Fast, fast, fast. Now, it's hard when you're not coordinated yeah, with that hand, but it's just. Back down. It's got that. Keep them coming, baby! Blackfin tuna. Then we went offshore and tried to do some deep water and we hooked into a few really big amberjacks. Unfortunately, a shark got them. Now we're going to try for sailfish. Fingers crossed. This part of the day had my adrenaline rocking. The captain was cruising the edge of the drop off looking for bait showers, which is a school of bait fish shooting up and out of the water and raining back down because a sailfish was feasting upon them. When Captain Scott saw a bait shower, he hammered down full throttle, and when we got close enough, we would pitch our baits at the sailfish. What's that? Oh, right here. I've never in my life seen a more beautiful color blue than the color of this feeding sailfish pumped with adrenaline. Unfortunately, you can't see them in any of our camera angles, but we could see them, and they were big sailfish too. We pitched and casted and pitched and casted our baits, I cannot tell you how many times, but my heart was pounding knowing at any second a line would go tight and one of these gorgeous fish would break the water and the acrobatics would ensue. I see him, I see him. Oh, he's right there. Right there. He's shooting out, he shot away, he shot away. It's freaking bright blue. This was an absolutely amazing experience. We had so many opportunities, but it saddens me to say that none of these beautiful fish would take the bait. Look like a good one too. Well, unfortunately our time is up. We at least got to see a sail fish. We casted a few of them, uh, but it was a great day. It was an absolutely perfect day to be offshore in Florida when everybody else at home is freezing their you-know-what's-off. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, God bless.